The Glenwood State Bank got its start in 1907, started by Theodore Owney. 52 years had passed uh, when, when I was hired uh, to work at Glenwood State Bank. In 1959, we were about three million in assets and had eight employees at that time. In the 60s, I started buying shares of Glenwood State Bank. In 1971, I was 29 years old and I had a chance with two partners, two other employees of the bank, to buy the controlling shares of Glenwood State Bank. I knew that my commitment for the rest of my career was going to be here. In 1980, we opened a, an office in Villard, and in 1983, I became uh, president of the bank. And at that time, um, we did a major remodeling project in Glenwood. For 23 years, I served as president, and with uh, uh, new technology and uh, younger folks' uh, interests in uh, Pursuing all the changes that were coming to banking, I resigned as president and Peter Nelson, my son-in-law, was elected president. In 2008, we had looked at expanding into the Alexandria market. That has turned out to be a, a great addition to our uh, family's uh, banking operations. Today our assets total over 300 million, so we continue to grow. This year will, in December, will mark 60 years that I have been employed by Glenwood State Bank and a part of this great organization and great community. Glenwood State Bank's purpose is to be the premier community bank positively impacting its customers, employees, and community through Christian principles. We feel that God owns this bank and it's His assets, and we're merely stewards to do the best we can with what He's given us. Part of our foundation goes back to 1907, and that's our values. Our values of commitment, balance, diversity, compassion, and virtue, they make us who we are, and we try to live out those values each and every day. Glenwood State Bank's core value of commitment says that we strive for excellence in all that we do. We're committed to the success of our bank, to our employees, to our customers, and also to the communities that we serve. We are a family-owned bank, and we are actually 100% family-owned. Being family-owned means that we have family actually involved in nearly every aspect of the bank. And I see that as a great benefit because we can be encouragers and supporters of the others who do the daily work. Those employees are people that are highly talented, deeply committed, amazing people that make our values and our vision, our purpose come alive. We are a locally owned community bank. That means that you have a financial partner that is here for the long run. The dollars that are deposited in Glenwood State Bank are kept locally. We turn those dollars around into commercial loans, into real estate loans, into ag loans, and into consumer loans that power our local economy. At Glenwood State Bank, one of our core values is balance, which basically means in a nutshell, living a healthy lifestyle. Uh, balancing work, faith, family, um, any life events that you might have going on. We really believe in life balance, that there's more to life than just work. Um, we all need to find balance between our families and our work and rest and time to have fun and play. And so we just really encourage that. We work hard here at Glenwood State Bank. Our employees work very hard. And we always want them to know that their rest time and that balance in their lives, time with their families is very important. Some of the ways that we invest in our employees um, that's been really fun is we have done some retreats. We started those uh, when we hit 50 million in assets. Some of the fun locations that we've been to in the last 23 years are Nashville and Orlando, San Antonio, San Diego. We have gone to Alaska, Hawaii, and quite a few trips to Mexico. And what we find is um, it's a win-win. Um, we started them and we continue to do them as a reward 
for their hard work and their dedication and helping us to grow. But it also helps uh, with our team bonding and, and therefore it's a win for us. It helps uh, our employees to be better understanding of each other, um, to have better relationships with each other. So um, it's, it's a great tool for some team building. I work full-time at Glenwood State Bank. Um, I'm a full-time husband, a full-time father. I have an awesome wife, three beautiful children, all under the age of six. I remember a conversation once at my annual review with my supervisor, who happens to be an owner of the bank. And we were talking about um, all the things that I had accomplished in the past year, all the hours that I had put in, um, all the projects we had accomplished. And he said, that's awesome, Jay, and so appreciated. But he said, at what cost? Probably your family. And he said to me without hesitation, Jay, it is not worth it. It is just not. And I just, I hold on to those words each and every day and I just think, wow, how cool is it that uh, an owner of the bank, my supervisor, um, would say something like that. And it just goes to show that Glenwood State Bank really does value balance. Diversity is another one of our core values at Glenwood State Bank. It means we respect people for their differences, but it runs deeper than gender or race or age. We respect them for their different opinions, their um, different views of the world, their different hobbies, how they choose to spend their time. We're all different. We all make different choices and um, that's okay and that's actually great. We like to have a variety of, of personalities and a variety of people on our team. Everybody brings something special to the team. Um, we're not looking for a specific educational background. We're not looking for a specific um, talent group. We're not looking for um, work experience. We look at values. We look at strengths. We look at having a variety of um, ages and talents and backgrounds on our team and that just helps to fill our, our staff out and round it out in a very nice way. As I think about diversity, we're really proud of and in fact embrace our age diversity. We have young people that are probably just getting started in their career all the way up to us old codgers that have been around for decades. While some may bring a certain amount of history and experience, our younger staff certainly bring a high level of passion and energy and we need both. I think young people really get a bad rap these days, and I've seen so many positive things come from them. And frankly, Glenwood State Bank wouldn't be who we are today without them. We also have a lot of diversity in our customers and appreciating the uniqueness that each of them brings. We try to treat everyone the same, whether they have $5 or $500,000 or anywhere in between, because they're all important and they're all people, and that's the way we look at them. In addition, we also know that those unique people have challenges and also victories, and we want to walk alongside them through both. But no matter what your background might be, we're all treated with respect. You're, you're truly a part of the family from day one. I've never once felt at a disadvantage for my age or for my lack of banking experience. Um, if anything, it's been celebrated um, because I can bring a perspective that no one else can. And I kind of think that's what diversity is all about, is bringing different perspectives to the table so we can open each other's eyes. Diversity is what makes us great. Compassion is one of our core values. It's really how we view and help others. We want to connect with people and we want to support people and we want to make a difference in people's lives. During the course of the year, we have hundreds of opportunities to give. We look at that as a great privilege. If there weren't requests for donations, it would mean that our community wasn't growing and wasn't thriving. So we are very happy to participate through our donations. We invest not only dollars, but hours of time, hands um, to help out where things are needed for community events, or a lot of times the donations have to be bigger than any one entity can do on their own. So we come together as a community and do our part. Another thing that we do um, to invest in our employees and our community is our day of caring. We started this probably close to 10 years ago now and we pay our employees for four hours annually to go out into the community and to volunteer. Um, 
This is very much a win-win because not only does it serve the needs in the community, when you take 80 employees times four hours of service, that's 320 hours of good we can do in the community annually. In addition to the day of caring, our employees on their own time are also very involved in the community. We've got a lot of people, a lot of our staff that are on different boards or nonprofits and really um, have a passion for making a difference in their communities. So that's just something that's part of our culture and we're very proud of that. It's really been an honor to be a part of this organization all these years and see firsthand how much emphasis the family puts on compassion. Of course they're unbelievably generous to all the charities we serve in our communities and civic projects. But what strikes me even to this day is the attitude and how we view decisions. If a customer has a request, first and foremost is how we can make this happen for them. Or if someone is facing challenges, how can we get them through this? It's easy to see why compassion is a component of Glenwood State Bank's core values. I can't tell you how many times I've heard Peter say, it's just the right thing to do. Virtue isn't about being perfect. Virtue isn't about being free from sin or mistake. Virtue isn't about having a holier than thou attitude. Virtue is about having an unrelenting commitment to saying, I'm gonna try my very best today. Virtue's about um, knowing what your values are and then living to uphold them each and every day. There's a great Bible verse from Philippians 4, 8 that talks about virtue and it says, finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, think about these things and God will be with you. And that's one of the benefits we've had here at Glenwood State Bank is by putting God first and foremost in our organization, He has blessed us in incredible ways. We always do what we feel is the right thing so that when we are out in the community and we are sitting by our friends and our neighbors at our kids' sporting activities or sitting by people at church or running into people in the grocery store, we can hold our head high because we always strive to do the right thing to help people in our community. One of the things I like about Glenwood State Bank is its virtue and the fact that they encourage us to make the decisions we need to make and that at the end of the day, when we go home, we know that we've done the best we can for the bank, for our customers, and for our communities. Virtue plays itself out in the way that we deal with and interact with our teammates. Uh, from the onboarding process to the retirement party and everything in between, we choose to invest in our team. And I think that's a great demonstration of virtue because virtue is all about doing the good, being the good, and seeing the good in each other and in every situation. The importance of community banks um, for our rural, smaller communities is uh, no doubt in my estimation as uh, the community goes, so goes the bank, but as the bank goes, so goes the community. The importance of community banks is in the name. It's about communities, its customers, and its employees. We don't make decisions based on earnings reports. We make decisions based on what's best for the community. Those decisions have helped us grow, which means we can help more customers, employ more people, and offer better products. Community banks help local economies thrive our payroll is $5.2 million between Pope and Douglas counties. That goes to local employees who live here, spend here, and support our local economies. Community banks tend to be a, a pillar of a community. Um, you'll drive through town and sometimes it's a grocery store and a gas station and a bank. Another thing with community banks is the money that comes into a community bank is given back to our community. Community banks they know their customers. They have relationships with these people. And it's not always about the numbers. They believe in people because they're their neighbors. They might go to church with them. They sit in the bleachers at a basketball game with them. So they know these people and they know their character and they can believe in and trust in them. So even if the numbers don't always make perfect sense, the loan can still be made. And that's what happens when you have a community bank in your hometown. I was totally blessed in being able to have things uh, fall into place. It is something that today could never happen because of the uh, costs and the uh, complexity of, uh, of getting into banking today. We've been so blessed in so many ways. We have amazing customers that are not only loyal, but I would call friends. I get to work with some of the most amazing people. They're so talented even more impressive is their hearts and the amount that they care 
about this community and the people that they serve each and every day. In this community, what a blessing. God obviously created it and made it pretty special with all the natural beauty that we have with lakes and hills and trees. But he also takes care of it each and every day, and he has for many years, and we just pray that he'll continue to take care of it. So there's no question we've been blessed.